Okay, hello everyone. Uh, it's me again, and uh, I decided to post a video on a. Can okay, move that mouse cursor out of the way. How to become really good at Ruby Grim Eclipse? Let's start this mission with a yay. To the p oh come on, enough with the puns. So to the point, you get to the top of the scoreboard. Yep, this is a guide on how to become get at the top of the scoreboard with Ruby. Because trust me. After you get the hang of this game, there's nothing more competitive than actually wanting to be at the top of the scoreboard. And trust me, it's pretty exhilarating knowing that you are probably the best out of the other three players on their team, which is great. So, like, you probably know how to use Ruby already, but if you don't, okay. I guess this isn't a new guide, mind you. This is a, uh, this is a specific tip guide on what you should do, but... I guess I'll go over the basics as well, but I'm just going to teach you how to, you know, properly use Ruby and a few little helpful tips you should know, as well as the upgrade path, because that's kind of important. Wait, now we have two Ys. Okay, so the first thing you want to know is, first of all, controller, please. If you don't have a controller, then, well, I guess you'll have to stick with the mouse and keyboard, but if you have a controller, please. Use the damn controller. You this, the, all controllers are compatible. An Xbox 360 controller, PS3 controller, which is what I'm using right now. See, they even have the button layout set correctly. Um, and so the entire point basically is, even Xbox One and PS4 controllers also work. So basically, every controller you can think of, if you have either of those four, use it, because the game becomes a lot easier in that case. I think I've just gotten game lag because she's standing still, the monster's standing still, so that's not good. Yep. Transferring control to new host. I believe that must be me. Alright. Hey look, it's separate. It means no one's here. Uh never mind. Someone else is also Ruby. Great, that makes things a lot more difficult. Alright, let me think about okay. So other than that, okay, let's get started. Yeah, after I said other now that you have a controller let's connected. Get you should know how to use the controls already, like hold down the R2 button to and then press either one of the keys to use your special. So that Yeah, Ruby has a ranged attack, which you actually really don't honestly want to use that much. Like like upgraded, but that's it. Like upgraded like later on in the game. You really don't want to do that, because I don't think you want to use Ruby's um dust blast that much. Her two most useful attacks are Crescendo, probably the most useful attack in the game, for its area of effect, and Reap, which is a downward slash attack like that. So... Right now, I wish I could do this by myself so I could take my time, but I guess I'm doing it as I go along. So, the first thing you want to know is how to use combos properly. No, yes, there are other combos. If you didn't know that, look, this is what happens when you smash square. You do this. It's basically, uh... Wait for him, gonna wait for him to stop speaking. Basically, you smash square and you do a, and you do a, like, this combo. But the problem is, see, after you smash square three times, if you smash it a fourth and fifth time, you do this, like, go up, you jump up into the air to do this downward smash, which... You don't want because you don't get as good of an area of effect as if you um are just to stay on the ground. So what you actually want to do, Ruby's most useful attack on the ground is square, 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 triangle. Square, 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 triangle. See that just then? She did a lunge. Square, 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 triangle. Square, 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 triangle. So three squares, one triangle is Ruby's most useful combination on the ground. Because it doesn't a, you don't leave the ground while doing it. The square, 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 triangle. Square, 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 triangle. See, see what I mean? You never leave the ground while doing it, and it's arguably almost as powerful as just spamming square. But trust me, you don't want to button mash if you want to get to the top of the scoreboard. You just mash this combo, and you should be pretty good to go. Okay. After that, also try not to use the. Um, I really rec don't recommend ranging with Ruby. Unless you're using Dust Blast, otherwise, don't use a ranged attack that much. See, it doesn't do that much damage, it's just, uh, kind of just a thing. What it is useful for, however, is if, like, you're charging up your special meter, and you're trying to, like, you just need those last few hits, but there's no one anywhere near you, you can snipe enemies from far away. See? Special meter is increasing. 
You can snipe enemies from far away to get your combo around to get that one precious bar of special you need. So that's one of the useful things about Ruby's, um, what you call it, ranged attacks. Also, when moving, if you want to get somewhere fast, don't just run. Ah, yes, Ru one of Ruby's special traits is, look, in the air, you can do one dodge before you have to, um, before it has to recharge, so you can't do it anymore. By the way, press L1 to dodge if you didn't know that already. Um, but however, her special is on the ground, she can actually do three dodges in a row before having to recharge, which is a good thing, as that's how you get around really fast. Just dodge and... Yeah, so... Now that you know that, okay. The second thing, what was I gonna say? Right. Let's see if this one puts up a challenge. That's pretty much all you need to know for that. I'll, I'll talk going into the moves later after we get the upgrade path done. So, first thing you want to upgrade is crescendo just immediately. Crescendo. First, first order of duty is to make crescendo chargeable. So now you should know this by now. But if you hold, if you hold down the X button, it charges up, and it's much more powerful now. And this is, one of, this is one of Ruby's main attacks you will be using to get all the XP and score. Oh yeah, she used that. See, that was Reap? Well, wow. Geez. Some people think Reap is more useful than Crescendo, but I don't know what to say about that. Dear me. Okay. Is that okay, it? so next thing you want to upgrade after you upgrade Crescendo is Reap. Immediately just upgrade, get the improved Reap. Those are the first two things you want to get. Screw everything else. You don't even need health at this point, in ta at this point in time. Just make your attack more powerful so you can get, you know, go faster. So, okay, yep, like I said, improved Reap. Next thing you want to go for, improved Reap immediately. Just forget everything else, go for improved Reap. I should probably try to make it a bit faster because this file is going to get pretty big. Okay, so after you get the improved reap, the next thing you want to do is Never mind you want to get the control center special, improved special. The this will increase sure your special your pool from two to six, which is important because later on when you upgrade, you're not going to upgrade the crescendo to max value because those require two skill points, and that's designed for single player when you get all the XP, which you're not likely to. So don't bother upgrading crescendo to two. It's a waste. Unless somehow, when they update this game later on, like, you progress further in the story and you've already upgraded everything else you need to, then go ahead. Because it is powerful, but that's meant for single player, where you need that extra power. But right now, you really don't. You really don't right now, so... Okay. So, as I can say, I'm wave MVP, what do you know? Okay, so, yep, improve special, then... Or a regeneration, you want that, because when your health goes down, just dodge out of the way for a few seconds, run around, try not to go near them if your health gets low, and then your aura will recover really fast, and then you can just go back to fighting again, which is what you want. You don't want to be out of the action for too long, and you want to be able to, because you want to get, you don't get as many points as you possibly can. So like this, just run out of the way, wait for the aura to recharge, and whenever it does, go back in. Trust me, it'll recharge much faster than that when you get the upgrade. So that's number three on the upgrade path. Um, this is where you want to use Reap. See? It's just it. Yep. Okay, yep. Like I said, improve special. See? Six now. Okay, then go for aura regeneration and then survivor. You don't even need improve special. So, one, two, three, four... Five, and then six is hyper ballistics. Hyper ballistics basically means instead of having to do eight combos so if you get one special, I mean instead of having to do eleven, you only have to do eight, which is great because you can recharge your combos much faster. You can afford to just first of all don't bother saving up your special. Use it whenever you can, like right here. I don't have to like, like just use it whenever you can to get as many kills as you possibly can. Screw screw saving your special because trust me, you're gonna just. Just start spamming enemies and you get to recharge your special pretty fast, so don't even bother. Just don't try don't bother trying to save your special attacks. Use them whenever you can. And whenever you need to. I mean like don't obviously use it against like two enemies, but like I mean if there's three or four, take the time and use it. Like see this? Just you get hit, dodge out the way, don't even bother. Oh, by the way, make sure 
revive your friends because you get um your score will improve if you you actually get a lot of XP from reviving your friends. So don't just be a dick and try not to revive them because someone else will and they'll get a much better score than you because they just did. Okay, okay, okay. Try to talk and that's not helping. Okay, reviving. Please revive. Come on, see you go. And also you get 50 XP. So do revive your friends. Just because you want to get the highest score, don't not revive your friends. Okay? Okay? Oh yeah, there's Ruby down again, and I should get a higher score now because I'm reviving my friends again. By the way, don't bother getting the survivor, so... I'm just gonna let them kill stuff for a while. So one, two, this is three, that's four, that is survivor is five, and then afterwards hyper ballistics. And then after you get hyper ballistics, go for electric blast or dust blast mask if you can unlock those because I haven't got them yet. On the uh, beta, I did, but this is the real version. So after dust blast, then you can go for the yeah. I got wrecked because I was sorry about that. So while I'm waiting for them to revive me, yeah. So after you get everything else I told you to, then go for improved special. I'll put a list at the end of the order that you need to um, get, you need to upgrade in, so trust me, Ruby is a hack and slash, you don't play raid into Ruby, okay, don't, just try not to, you want to get the highest score, don't play raid, yep, and try not to die the best you can, I was just being lazy because I was trying to talk at the same time and it wasn't really working. Control center has suffered severe damage. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get top score this round because uh, it took way too long. If I do get top score, then hey, I know exactly what I'm doing. Okay, like I said, after this, go directly for aura regeneration. And. I may end up having to cut this video because it may get too big or too long. See, here you use Reap on the bosses. You use Reap on the ha on these bosses, see? Nope, I didn't get wave MVP. The security but, network in this region hey. is ship shaped once again. I'll give some of our staff to see if they can find anything about that mysterious symbol. Excellent work. Okay, and moment of truth. Hey! Look who's on top of the scoreboard. Take that! See, this is the moment you wait for. You look at them and you realize you're so much better than everyone else because you're at the top of the scoreboard. So I guess that's really it for Ruby. Uh, recap? Use square square triangle to attack. Do not just spam square, as this another is much area, less effective than this. Trust me. Personal experience, six hours of straight gameplay. Um, make sure like to revive your friends, cause as soon as you can. Because you want to revive them and not let other people revive them, because your score will increase from doing that. Uh, dodge three times with Ruby to move faster, because and don't dodge in the air, because you only get one. Use the upgrade path, which I will now list. And then just make sure you don't die by dodging and rolling out of the way when you need to. Okay? Okay. I hope you understand what you're doing. Let me see. Did I miss anything else? Alright, I did. Sorry. I'm like... Upgrade path. Let me, um... Than the Grim you fought before. When it sees you, it will spin before okay, it here's the final upgrade While path. Spinning, you want to go... Way. Crescendo, improved reap, That's when you strike. Um, or, improved special, aura regeneration, survivor, um, lunging reap, no, 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 yeah, lunging reap, then hyper ballistic, then improved special. No, no, actually, no, hyper ballistic before <laughs> lunging reap, and then you can go for improved special if you have enough left. No, did I say? I meant you can go for Dust Blast afterwards. Screw that. Ah. Just look at the list that appears on screen right now. Look at the list. And then use this upgrade path. I'm very bad at this. I'm sorry. But uh, it's not very easy, especially when there's no single player mode right now. So... Also, these guys... Just dodge out the way of these guys. And use Reap on them, because they're because they get wrecked by it. Trust me. Okay, so I guess that's it. If you probably, you're very disappointed in this video, but it's true. This is exactly how you become good at this game. Just remember my pro tip, and you should be good to go. I don't know about the others, but it's quite difficult to become top of the scoreboard with Vice. 
but Blake and Yang should be. I'll try and see if I can do a professional video on them soon, but that may be a while, so we have to get good with them first. So thanks for watching, and see you next time.